Hey, this is Vic. I'm uh, going to show you today how to assign an inventory to a bill of materials uh, with an open bomb. Uh, let's get started. The first uh, thing I'd like for you to notice is that uh, there's this little uh, uh, chevron, if you will, uh, that when you click gives you the exposure to uh, some of the other tools we have here. So uh, again, let me just uh, click and unclick, and this is how now you get to the tools that refer to Item Master or Parts Catalog. So the first thing we're going to do when we're assigning an inventory, we also call them uh, catalogs, to, uh, to, a, to a bomb is you go ahead and click it, and you're going to get a list of all the available uh, parts catalogs that you have. Now you're probably wondering, okay, where did that list come from? if this is the first time you're sort of exposed uh, to, uh, to Open Bomb. So uh, let me just uh, show you real quickly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the dashboard. Once I'm in the dashboard, I have this section here called, called Parts Catalog in the dashboard. And these are all the catalogs uh, that I have. Uh, this is my working uh, space, so there's just a lot of stuff there. But having said that, you'll probably have uh, the ones that you've created. And we can go into another video on how to go ahead and create a Parts Catalog. But having said that, here's one that's already been created. Uh, and uh, this is where it is. This is the parts catalog that I'm going to be uh, assigning to, uh, to that particular bomb. Uh, parts, uh, or rather speaker parts, sorry. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is let me go back to the, uh, to the Bill of Materials dashboard. I'm going to go back to the Bill of Material that I had. And now, again, I'm just going to be clicking that on and setting the, the catalog. So this is... Uh, basically populating with all my parts catalog, I'm going to go ahead and choose the speaker parts. Okay? Now, you're probably noticing use only inventory part numbers. What does that do? What does that mean? Well, uh, a few things. First of all, when you assign a parts catalog to a bomb, essentially what you're doing is you're now basically saying that uh, this particular bomb will have uh, all the attributes from a part number uh, and the properties, uh, more on that maybe in another video, uh, that uh, are part of that part catalog inherited into it. Now, what does that mean in practice, you're probably wondering? Well, what it means is that if you add an item, okay, now in this case, I'm going to leave this unclicked. And if you uh, just click the speaker parts, what's going to happen is, you see this little faded drop down? Uh, widget here. So if you click it, you're going to see all the parts numbers of the speaker parts of that catalog. So uh, you're, you're automatically going to get to choose from the uh, assigned parts catalog. Now, however, let me turn this off. This is just a spell checker here. Oops. Um, let me get out of that. Sorry. I just want to turn this off because it's kind of annoying. Um, I'll turn it off in a sec. But anyway, so uh, like I said, you can choose from all the parts uh, or items in a in the assigned parts catalog. Or ah, now I'm going to get it. Watch this. Ha! Now it's going to disappear. So the uh, the other thing is you can free. Uh, you can enter uh, freestyle. So you can enter anything. Now here's uh, something that's interesting. Let's say I'm just going to put M. I'm going to start with M. What um, uh, Open Bomb does is it looks at every, it, we index pretty much everything that's entered. So if I, for example, add P, uh, you're going to get everything, every part number that you've ever worked with in any other bomb also available to you. It's just a, a way of simplifying and making it easier for you for you to choose something that you may have already used because we index everything uh, that, uh, uh, that's created from a part number perspective uh, with an Open Bomb. So uh, that's if you don't click this. Now, if you click use only the inventory parts, what happens is now you're only limited to what was assigned in the catalog. And if you now try to enter something, right, and you try to enter it, you watch, ha, can't do that, right? So that red thing means, hey, you're assigning something to this, or you're creating a part number, rather, uh, or, 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 giving this bomb a part number uh, that goes against um, the rule that you can only use inventory part numbers in this bomb. Okay? So that's that's all it means. So let me unclick that here. OK? 
Okay, so now I've unclicked it, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to randomly go ahead and choose um, this particular chip here. Okay, so once I've done that, and let me add another item. I just for kicks and giggles add another item. I'm going to add the uh, PCB board. Here we go. And now I have the I've done two things here in summary. So what I've done is I've assigned a part catalog. And I can, by the way, I can assign as many as I like. So if I went ahead and added the fasteners to it, when I create an item, I will also have all the fasteners attached to that. So these are the part of the fastener part numbers. Okay, so I can add as many catalogs as I like to this particular bill of material. And a pretty cool thing is any changes to uh, any of the items in this particular part catalog or any part catalog, but the ones assigned will be reflected in all the bonds you've assigned these uh, catalogs to. Okay, so that's how you assign a part catalog to a bomb. Thanks.